Galactic Histories, Alien Agenda This galactic story is about the many different alien craft and star beings visiting Earth. Their reasons for being here today have much to do with the events in Earth's galactic history. These are some of the star systems that have been involved in Earth's galactic history. Each of these star systems has multiple planets with many civilizations. There have been many interactions with Earth over the last 200 million years. The nature of these interactions depended on the development stage of different civilizations. Over time, star systems formed alliances for governance, expansion, protection, trade and cultural and scientific exchange. A galactic federation formed 7.5 million years ago. Today it has thousands of members. Different star systems and civilizations operate at different densities or frequency or vibration. Higher density civilizations operate more from love, compassion and unity. Lower density civilizations experience greater polarization, which can lead to fear and judgment. Since the 1990s, Earth humans have been raising their frequency from the third to fourth density. Here are the current densities of some of the star beings connected with Earth's history. The reasons different star beings visit or interact with Earth depends on their density. For example, beings visiting from the Pleiades may come from a fourth or seventh density civilization. Their knowledge and experience will depend on their history and stage of development. A long time ago, advanced Pleiadians cured diseases on Earth and interfered in wars. Their compassion matured as they saw their interference had unforeseen consequences. It held back the development of knowledge, science and, importantly, consciousness. Since then, Pleiadians have learned how to better assist developing civilizations. Governing councils in various star systems tend to be higher density than their populations. Many councils have guidelines for assisting the development of civilizations and planets. This doesn't necessarily mean these guidelines are always understood or followed. Star beings altered Earth DNA in the past, especially Lyrans, Pleiadians, Syrians and Orions. These civilizations are skilled geneticists and Earth is recognised for its rich diversity in DNA. While their DNA manipulation finished a long time ago, they still monitor its evolution on Earth. More recent genetic interventions involved abductions occurring from the 1940s to the 1990s. So-called greys from different civilizations used human DNA for various agenda. This was done to ensure the continuation of each grey civilization and largely stopped by the mid-1990s. Some of these agenda were more self-serving than others and not always in our interests. Today, star beings are monitoring the activation of dormant human DNA. This activation is connected with the raising of the consciousness of Earth and humanity. Many star beings are currently visiting Earth to witness and sometimes assist this process. Their level of interest is great because many have been connected with Earth's history. Earth humans are seen as members of the soon-to-be reunited galactic human family. Most star beings currently visiting Earth have a service to others for the good of all orientation. Some star beings have a service to self for the good of all outlook. Each of these ways of being provides a strong ethical framework guiding actions. While helping Earth and humanity is the main agenda for most star beings, there are subplots. Some service to self star beings may be opportunistic and take what they can get. Some service to self renegade alien groups, space pirates, have pushed their own agenda. Contracts were made in secrecy with naive Earth organisations from the 1940s onwards. These organisations have spun polarising narratives to disempower Earth humans. Some narratives have elements of truth, but essentially promote fear, separation and control. 
Fear-prone humans may mutually enact scenarios with star beings using fear to control. Today, it's more difficult to hide and enact a negative agenda as transparency increases. OK, let's look at some common alien agenda. Number one, witnessing and supporting the raising of consciousness of Earth and humanity. Two, preparing for increased contact and public disclosure. Three, learning about our solar system, Earth and humanity. Four, monitoring weapons of mass destruction. Five, monitoring Earth and environmental changes. Six, monitoring interference by low frequency or rogue alien groups. Seven, scientific research, especially in genetics and subtle energies. Eight, communicating and collaborating with non-human intelligences, NHIs, around, on and within the Earth. Nine, telepathic communication with individuals and groups. This is increasing. 10. Warning governments about the negative consequences of Earth-human actions. 11. Working on secret self-serving projects with Earth organisations. This is decreasing. 12. Deceiving and exploiting naive Earth organisations which are hoping to gain from alien technologies and infrastructure. This is also decreasing. Humanity is rapidly evolving in consciousness, and this is what interests most star beings. Fear-based structures, systems and agenda are being exposed and are losing momentum. More people are looking inward for guidance, and more are looking outward with compassion. This is what most star beings have come to Earth at this time to witness and celebrate. <laughs>